You know, I ain't seen any bait out here yet on these flats. Just now, there's a few right there. I guess when old, I won't say any names, but when the world record was caught here, I bet it was a zoo for a while, wasn't it? Still is. It's been a bad couple years, last few years, so it slowed down, but yeah, when, when he caught that big one, or his client did, it changed the world up here for a little while. find some fish out there. That's fish. That's a good fish. Is it? Coming to us. Might be a red fish. No, that's a trout. trout. Tip of this bar. Good trout. Nice one. Yeah, there's you a four pound trout. Three and a half, four maybe. Oh, they're pretty. Come here, dude. And they do have some shoulders, don't they? Yeah, they got thick backs. Winter time, they've been eating good. He swallowed that joker, didn't he? Not too bad. There's a yellow mouth. He's got a little red mouth now. But... See why we call him yellow mouth? Nice little yellow mouth. Yellow mouth, mustard mouth, trout, <laughs> sea trout, whatever you call them. That is the most sought after saltwater species that swims. I think I read that somewhere. That's cool. I, mean, I don't doubt it. There's Actually, I think my producer Kevin told me that. Oh, yeah? that it's the most sought after species. But, uh, and that's what we're seeking today. We're fishing with Captain Billy Henderson. We're in Homosassa again. Todd just came in, been plugging here a little bit this morning, catching some trout. That is the targeted species. I got the DOA shrimp and he's throwing the mirrodine. So let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. So what are we gonna do here on this spot? This train will change. It goes from deep to flat out here and we're gonna get around and work the front side of this, the west side of this bar right here. And there's gonna be some tall grass and these trout are gonna be targeting right around the edges of that stuff. I love doing a sweeping tide. This is what, what's happening right now. The tide is just rushing this way. So I'm gonna try to feather this out. Oh, that's a good fish right there. There you go. Right up there on that, par, on that bar point too, ain't it? We need to drop that talon right here, Blair, and stay All right, right here because we could very well sit here and catch a bunch of fish. That's a nice fish, whatever it is. Either I got him by the tail or he's got a big mouth. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good one there. You're going to have to grab this one for me, probably. What? How about if I get that one? Oh, oyster bar. You found a hard spot, didn't you? Yeah. Let me slide under you because I'm going to have to. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. He's not yeah, giant. I'll get him. I'll get him. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty fish. Come on, come on. I'm just going to show you off and let you go. Hang on. Almost like a snook. They'll get a little docile when you put them on their backs. Get them out. There he is. Good job. Beautiful fish right there. That's what we come to Home Assassin for this trip right here. Absolutely beautiful sea trout right there. Look at that one. That one's a little bit longer than my forearm out of my fingers. Nice fish. Yes, sir. That is a healthy one there. How their backs hump up here real thick. You don't see that. I mean, they just, they just they got a lot of food. Yeah, real there is. Real thick bodies. They are healthy fish. The, the next trout I've seen that size there is, you know, they look like they got little bitty heads mm -hmm. are the ones out in Louisiana. Those yeah. out there, I mean, they have such a smorgasbord of fish out there to eat and shrimp, just like you do here. Yeah. All these yeah. nutrients dumping out of all these little creeks that go way back up in there, the mainland. Right. They are here. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Billy Henderson, and hopefully one of those five plus pound trout from Homosassa. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Come on, Biggin. A rat me. Well, welcome back, folks. We moved around the corner now. We're going to be casting up some rocks. You said, what, you did a tournament up here the other day? Yeah, we had one this past weekend and um, and won it. And won it. On big trout. Ooh, cool. Ooh, that was a good fish. That you miss it? Real good fish. I seen the blow up on that. I'm going to tie them down right here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, we need to work this point. Take your talons in. There he is. Nice fish right there. Oh, that is a good one. Shaking oh, me. they're all good, Billy. Some are just better than the others. You know that. Shaking that big old <laughs> head. Learned that one from Captain Tommy Z. Yeah, that one is pretty. Needed that water to get right, didn't we? Man, that one's, that's a grown one for Homosassa, huh? Nah, 
That's nah, happened. that's normal. A little fired up, ain't he? Ain't happy about that a bit. There he is. He's got a mouthful of Miradine. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Hooked him up good, didn't it? Ooh, that's a pretty one. Everybody always asks me, what is my favorite fish to catch? And I can go catch 1,000 pound marlin mm -hmm. if I want to. And right there, it's the most sought after game fish that swims in salt water. And uh, that's a nice fish. One of my favorites. I could go for another one of them. Both of my favorites have specks. Mm -hmm. Speckled trout and specks. Crappy, I guess y'all northern folk call them. Crappy. Crappies. Crappy. I'm gonna slide down this point a little bit more here in just a minute and keep working this rock shoreline all the way down. It's real slow. The best thing we can do is keep staking down as we go and just and work these fish because they're not hammering yet. We caught a few of these and they just pushed off of us. They could be sitting down there or they may have slid up this edge. Oh, oh baby! He's sitting right there. That's a good fish there. Oh, God. He's, 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 he's not in the belly. No, I just... You know what that looks like? Looks well, like one of them darn fish with a spot on his tail, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why he kind of stalled on me there at first. Missed him. Must be some little rats over there. Yeah, there's some little. Oh, yeah, one under him. Did he? Yeah, God, look how red he is. Yeah, they've been bright lately. Man, that thing goes right through the bone, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> no tag on him nowhere. Nah. See you, fella. I just started using that hook on these mirror deans, and it's impressive. You know the Mogan series Miradines has them on there. Yeah, that's what we've been going over to Dick's Sporting Goods and buying them because nobody else around stocks them. I guess Dick's got a racket on them or something, or maybe, I guess. Yeah, got the exclusive on them. I like them because they float just a little bit higher than the regular one with the regular hooks that come on the mirror lures. That when you get a trout come up going on it, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how many times with the regular hooks on there, I've, you miss them. Yeah, yeah, you miss them. They come up and go brrr with a trocar hook. They're, they're caught. They're on. Snag him in the foot. <laughs> and the toenail. Well, tell me what we're doing here. This is a little bit different. Well, this tide's come up now. You see this water starting to wash over these bars, and these big trout are going to set right up. I mean, we need to cast to the break in the ripple at that bar and just start walking it off of there, and they would just crush it when it comes off the top of that bar. Yeah, we were here earlier, and it, was, it looked like moguls out here. I mean, it was, uh, it looks like a different planet. Yeah. Now they're all gone. Oh, he crushed that sucker right there. There you go. He crushed it. That's a good one, too. Look at it. You can tell when I get it comes straight up and that mouth starts to shaking. Coming at the boat, coming at the boat, coming at the boat. Man, I just got whacked there, too. There's a big one right here, Blair. That's not a good one right here. That's a good sign. That's probably the biggest trout ever filmed at Home Assassin. <laughs> he got just that back hook, too. Does he hang on to it? Yeah. Oh, be careful. There we go. He was a little mad. He was ticked off, wasn't he? There you go. The 21. People say there ain't big trout in home of Sasa. That's a good sized trout, folks. That's a real good sized trout. Anybody be happy to catch that one. Big old mustard mouth. Gotta love that fish. Well, brother. Nice fish. That's a beauty there, man. That is beauty. We're gonna get repositioned since we're sitting on top of the bar now and head down to the next spot. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. Captain Billy Henderson, right here in Home Sassa. Good job, man. Let's do it. I'm gonna big and I'm gonna treat us mad with this sun out. Especially on this big moon, this full moon we're on. Hopefully as soon as this tide turns, it's gonna be game on. Welcome back, folks. Let me show you what we're using out here today. Miradines, this is the XL version by Miralure. Got it rigged with 15 pound test cigar fluorocarbon. And I'm down to 15 because the water is just crystal clear here in Homus Ass and these trout can see it really good. 15 pound test cigar, so this is smack down. I mean, you wanna add 30 feet to your cast? Give you some smack down a try. Uh, the 7-2, flats blue. And uh, all Billy's got us doing here is we're taking these Miradines, 
getting up on the outside of these bars and luckily the wind's coming in behind us so it's we can get a little bit further off the bar not to disturb the trout just try to stay as far away from them as you can because trout don't get big being dumb it's working I haven't found that eight pound homo sassy trout yet but we are looking stay tuned there we go there's nice the trout, trout. It was a long time in between the last one, I tell you. I'm gonna poke us down and hold us right here. Yeah. Just the back side of this bar. If you heard me earlier saying that uh, we were talking about the redfish and the trout being in the same family, I've said this on the show a couple of times, but a trout is actually in the drum family and they're not really a trout at all, but they do have teeth like a trout. But they're actually a drum. They're a tasty little drum, but they are beautiful, aren't they? Killer fish. Go up and get big, buddy. Well, what in the eight pounder we're looking for. So time to keep plugging. You sure you've caught an eight pounder here? I got pictures. Pictures? Pictures. My dad won it last year with an 8.47 really? tournament. Yep, big fish right here. So what do we got here, Billy? Well, we got another, just a rock ridge here and it drops off into some darker water with that rock grass growing on the bottom and same scenario, different spot. These fish are a little cool still, or they're adjusting to this temperature and they're sitting up here in this shallow water, getting them some sunshine. First day of sunshine we've had in, what, since 2008? <laughs> There you go. Come. Nice, nice fish. fish. Look at that. Okay, there's the biggest trout I've ever seen at Home Assassin. <laughs> oh, he ain't that big. <laughs> right at the freaking boat, too. Oh, come on, fish. Come up current here. Yeah, he's just solid 18, 18 and a half, -er, but. He sure looked bigger. Yeah, he hit bigger. He come up and swatted it like he was a grown man. Well, pretty good size. Come on. And if you do happen to use one of these uh, Mirrodines here, the one that Billy's using is one of the Mogan series. It's got the trocar hooks on it, what we've been talking about. You gotta be Only very to go. careful with those because they will, they will flat hook you up. Those things will bite you right there. There's a nice, nice sea trout. Look at that fish. That is a beautiful one there, ain't he? Nice. Wide back. Thick. You say they do have worms here? Yeah, some of them bigger ones are gonna have some worms in them. Seems like year round anymore. Well, all you gotta do is just fry them good enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> Off he goes. That wasn't a bad one. Yeah, good deal. Well, they've all been good. We need to get repositioned though. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna reposition the boat, see if we can catch us another big old trap. Still in search of that eight pounder. We're Let's looking. Here. We'll be right back. Well, our wind didn't completely die when the tide changed. No, it laid quite a bit though, didn't it? Yeah. This is what we needed. We needed this tide to start turning out and washing that bait back over these bars. And as soon as it starts dumping that warm water out of them creeks and stuff, turned them right on. That's what we've been needing all day. We well, we need the clouds all day. Yeah, that, that would have helped too, for sure. Oh, there he is. Yes. Well, I felt him hit it. Good fish? Yes. That might be a red. Nah, that's trout. I see the silver on Oh, that is a freaking good one right there. Yes, sir. That might not be the I one will, we've been looking I for. I will take that one. Take it with that tail down. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a monster. Look at that fish. Yes, it is. Holy cow. Okay, biggest fish in Homer Sassa. Jesus, cutting netty. You gonna grab him? Yeah, I can grab him. Did it hook good? I can't tell. Come on, buddy, where you at? Ah, you son of a... Gotcha. <clears throat> that one hooked you too? Yep. Ugh. You got some cutters? Because we can pop that one real quick. See, it's through. You got some wire cutters? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. 
fish. Woo! That is a pig. <laughs> All right, there's your eight pounder from Homer Sassa. <laughs> Get that hook right on top of his mouth. I got him. I got him. How's your arm? I'm fine. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm shaking. I can't really grab that hook. Woo! I got him way up in the gills there. Okay, maybe he ain't eight, but he's, he's a, he's he's a, a good one. He's a dandy. People didn't say they get this big in Homer Sassa. Billy sent me, I don't know how many pictures last year of fish this size and bigger. Yeah. Way to go. Good deal. Nice Way fish. Way to go, brother. That is a good one. Let's see if we can get us some back in the water. Woo! You know, tarpon don't make me shake that much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Nice. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what Billy and I were out there throwing today. My favorite lure from Mirror Lure has to be the Mirror Dean. And I think Billy's new favorite lure happens to be the Mirror Dean as well. He likes throwing the dark one up there in that water. I like throwing the one that looks more like a bait fish. It's the 27MR18 color. And this one here is the Mogan series you can get right here at Dick's. The technique we were using was basically a twitch and pause. They're, they're twitch baits, that's what they're considered. And all you're trying to do is imitate a die in bait. You want to twitch, 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 and let it sit. Awesome, awesome lures. Captain Billy started sending me a few pictures uh, a couple of years ago of these trout he was catching up there. And let me tell you, they were some monsters. They were a lot bigger than the ones we got on the show today. I mean, they were some big ones that are unheard of up in that area. But he knows where they're living. And we were both throwing the 7-2 today, rigged with 10 pound test Smackdown, which is the new line from Seaguar. We had 15 and 20 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader on there, because that water up there is crystal clear. The 7-2 is an awesome trout rod for those trout we were catching. Put up a great fight, take some drag when they need to, and just a fun fight on the fish. If you ever get a chance to, make sure you get up to Captain Billy and definitely go fishing with him because he can take you to places that you know, most people don't even know around Homosassa. Up next, you're gonna see Billy catch another nice trout from up here in Homosassa on his new favorite Mogan series lure. Remember one thing though, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. There's that water ripping through there. There's gonna be some big fish laying right in that. Hitting you. You ticked off. Wasting your time if you don't cast right on it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. I thought I hooked the rock, he just stopped it. Nice. Oh, that is a nice fish. Oh huh? yeah, he stay stuck, baby, stay stuck. Oh, he's stay stuck. Good fish. Big one fat. Good fish, Billy. That's another good one. He's got a mouthful of that, don't he? Mm-hmm. Don't want to play, does he? Nice fish, Billy. Matt, there's a back on that thing. Huh? It's a big old wide back on him. Yeah. Nice fillets. Ooh. He wasn't going nowhere. His tooth just penetrated my thumb like that trocar hook did your arm. Yep. There you go. There's a, there's a beautiful specimen of a trout. Look at his back. Look how thick that thing is. That is a beautiful fish. Just stay, get down on that grass and that, all those spots and that green on his back. Predator fish cannot see him. It's not too often you find him with both, both fangs. Yes, sir. Did you always catch him with two, or you know that you it's, it's rare. sometimes it, I got two, sometimes I got one. Yeah, it's it's rare that I see him with. Two. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Off she goes. I like to let them go, don't you? Yeah, that's a good fish right here. Make a bunch of little ones. Well, from the looks of these bars, it looks about the same as it was when we came out, and it was yeah. Time to go. It was pretty skinny when we came out. This skeeter boat can go pretty shallow. I found that out today. It, uh, it ran good. If y'all ever get a chance to come to Home Assassin, make sure you stay at McCray's. One awesome place to stay. They got docks. They got a nice tiki bar out back. And uh, if you want to come book Billy, go to our website and you can look for him on there. Deep South Outfitter. What is it? At DeepSouthOutfitter.com. DeepSouthOutfitter.com. Everybody's got their favorite picture on their phone. Make sure you send us in a picture. Hashtag show your mugging. That's about it, I'm out of breath. Big trout like that, I'm telling you. That ain't, I ain't faking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good See fish. See you next week, man. Woo! Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh!
fish are coming at the boat. <laughs> Oh my god, you gotta love it when they do that. That's a good one right there.